going to show the camera real quick. Just knocked our antenna off. Your parents are home. Hey. Yeah, it knocked our antenna off. <laughs> It's just that last time the pool wasn't there. It's, um, it's an easy fix. Oh. <sighs> Alright, if you want to go real slow. Yeah. Break you off. Okay, what were you saying about so, the antenna? Yeah, so I mean, I can explain it better from this point right here. So, the tree started hitting right here where the antenna is. It's like right here, pushed it back. And I mean, the antenna's cheap. It just. Yeah, that, just was, fell back. that was so fast. Yeah, it just it fell back and then it punctured right here. There's just like a little, it's again on top of the roof. Yeah. It punctured a little hole. Like, it's like whenever you uh, get like a package like that's covered in that cellophane wrap mm -hmm. and you kind of pull it back, you know, and you actually get a finger hole into it. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's, it's like that, you know, it's just like a little tiny puncture that was pulled back a little bit. And so I just have to seal that little spot. We don't, I mean, we never use the antenna anyway. Well, and we can get a better antenna now. <laughs> yeah. If you want to look at it that way. Because that one, it didn't raise up. Like, if you see a lot of people just raise it up. Yeah. Uh, it was so just we, a... We can basically get an extender now. Crummy little one. We had yeah. one channel in Burnet. We just checked. But... But it's The tree was heading towards our AC. So it was, it was close. It was like, yeah. uh, well, I mean, it was touching the AC. Well, and like, why didn't we see it? I don't know. Yeah. Before, we, we've driven it through here several times, so that's not, we've never had to watch out for that specific range. So I was walking around looking for the lights that we have hanging to make sure they weren't going to get caught. So I was looking slightly off in this direction, assuming that the branch was good because we've been through here before, but. Yeah, and I can see the sides. Then it just happened. Ears. Yeah. So I can't see anything going down. Like, it was traveling right through the middle. Yeah. And by the time I heard it, that's the antenna had already popped off, yeah. so. Yeah. Yep. It's just one of those things. I mean. Yeah. It's an easy fix. It's know. just annoying. We went a whole At least week. it wasn't a broken leg. Well. What are we going to get to fix it? So I need a, a sealer that will, uh, we call bonds to rubber roofs. Should take a total of, like, ten minutes to fix. We just need to make sure it's sealed. That's all. Yeah. Oh, it'll seal. No big deal. Oh well. Well, and it's just out there now. Ruined our day. Taking up more space. Stupid little thing. Here we go. Let's see if we can find what we don't really know what we need. <laughs> can we test drive these? You can't have one. No. We could make a boat out of a screen door with this stuff, right? No, not that. Right? Uh, I suppose. I think that'll work, right? It says RVs on it. What? What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. So today we are actually just now leaving Lowe's and Matt has an idea on how to fix the hole in our RV roof. Coming home, we had a branch and knocked our TV antenna off and it ripped a hole in the RV. Hole, debacle, hole. Stop saying hole. Hole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, the whole problem was that the, uh, the whole antenna fell off. It's fine. Because we hit the whole branch. Yeah, we don't use that at all. <laughs> I tried to make that one. Okay. Yeah, we just don't use the antenna, but the thing is it did make that hole big. You know? <laughs> so it's like, now we're stuck with that, that hole. Cool. Anyway, it sucks, but it happens. Time to cover the hole so that when it rains, we're not having drips and bugs don't get in. I guess we'll figure out together if it works. Yeah, thank you for tuning in, and I guess let's get to fixing the whole hold. Alright, we're done. <laughs> it's like a fish or something, like flopping. Wait, wait, Brady! It's plywood, I mean, it's, and it's Sweet. also has a, a kind of a seal because of the glue. 
but all I'm going to do is basically spray underneath here, stick this back down, and then spray around the edges to seal any cracks. So there's actually two little spots. There's a little spot right here, too. And then with this, <laughs> I can't even get this up. Told you it would stick on there. So that was our temporary fix. So that's that's gonna be our fix, you guys. Yeah. We got a nice little bowl up here. We should paint it like the sun. Paint it like the sun. Yeah, make it like oh, a yellow little it's sun. It's white and kind of dingy looking. It kind of fits with everything else. Dingy. No one's gonna see up here. Nice Still with the it. sun behind you. It's Dang. like a slightly temporary fix too as well. I just chose to not have an antenna. Because we can put the antenna back on. Yeah, but it's just another obstruction. <laughs> yeah, and we don't ever use it. We've yeah. We used the antenna once, and that was while we were sitting in the RV parking lot waiting to so be able to take it home. Mm hmm But that can stay in there. Yep. So that, that's what happened here. But you can yeah. see the insulation that's in the trailer. It's which is styrofoam. Styrofoam. Yeah. You're going to fix it right now? I'm going to see what we can do. I just want to see what this stuff even looks like. It's like seal. Hopefully... That's, it's kind of like a icing. Mm. We're hoping just to stick it down and then put this around it, correct? Just create another watertight seal. Squish. <laughs> I love that we have a bowl on top of our RV now. We're like solidifying it. Oh my gosh. That's how we make it ours. How long does it take to dry? Uh, to completely cure, it's like 24 hours or so. Okay. I'll just get rid of that Corel. It's still pretty obvious. Oh my gosh. Stop it. <laughs> just making it dirty now. Alright, let's do this one. place would fix? They would fix it, but not under warranty. Oh, really? Yeah, pay for it. How much do you think it costs? I don't know. We're just going to go with this? Yeah. This cost me 20 bucks. And uh, not a full drive to Georgetown. Yeah. To let it stay for four days. Done. It's not, like, the highest quality spackling job. I don't know what it's called. But, oh, that's a good scrape right there, too. But really, it's not anything phenomenal, so this isn't really that much far off. I know. So the branch was actually pushing down on the AC just slightly. Dang. But this is what the top of the RV looks like. Yeah. I actually haven't seen the top of the awning. There it is. Yeah, there it is. We just got it's your got new lights, right? Mm-hmm. We can set those up. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow. Alright, I'm going to start pouring the water right now. What? It's so bad. Shut up. Hey. <laughs> I don't see anything. Okay. Come grab this stuff. What's the goal here? I'm just going to put sealant on this thing and then press it up where it's supposed to be actually touching because this is loose right now. And, and that can, just opens up to the inside? You can see the inside uh, right oh, through yeah. here. And it lets, lets so air out. much of our air out. It just yeah. needs to sit right there. That'll be perfect. Actually, a perfect shape because I'll create all the things we're pushing. So if that stays. If that doesn't work, then we'll just shoot a bunch of sealant in there. <laughs> Black sealant, just cover all the things up. Because why not? Sounds good. Might as well. Alright, I'm gonna go start dinner.